Hello. There was a farmer who had a very hard-working donkey, and for many years they worked together. As a young man, this farmer had had a well in the middle of one of his fields that he used to pull water from, and the donkey would cart it back. But the well dried up, and so the farmer covered over the, the well shaft with, with just bits of wood. Which maybe suggests to you that he wasn't the cleverest of farmers, because I'm sure you know what happens when you leave wood outside unprotected. The rain fell on it. The grass grew around it, it became slippery and mossy and rotten, and, and the hail pitted holes in it, and, well, one day, many years later, the farmer and his faithful old donkey were making their way back home across that field, and the farmer was a bit ahead, and the donkey was looking round and munching on dandelions, not really looking where he was going, because he put one, two, three, four feet on top of the rotten wood, and the wood gave way, and that donkey fell down, 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 ten metres down, into the empty, dry, old well shaft. <gasps> hey, oh! went the donkey, and the farmer looked up and looked around and couldn't see his donkey. Here, where's my donkey gone? He was here a moment ago. And he retraced his footsteps and came across his donkey down the well. And he looked down and he said, Oh, donkey, what are you doing down there? How am I going to get you out? Oh, no, what can I do? Well, he rubbed his hands and he thought about it and he pulled on his beard and... Oh, you know, I'll go back home and I'll get a rope and I'll be back and I'll get you out. And so he hurried on home and he looked in his tumbled down shed that was crammed full of who knows what and found a good stout piece of rope and brought it back and, and he kept hold of one end of the rope and he threw the other end down to the to the donkey and he said to the donkey here donkey you tie that round yourself and i'll pull you up and the donkey looked up at him and went hey or as if to say have you ever seen a donkey tie knots oh Oh dear, said the farmer, and he scratched his head, and he thought, oh, what am I going to do? Don't worry, I know, I've had another idea, I'll, I'll go and get an hook, and I'll, I'll, I'll tie that hook to the end of the rope, and, and then I'll pull you up. And so he ran, I would say, but he was quite elderly. He, he made his way as far as he could back to the shed, and he, he got his hook, and he brought it back, and he tied it on the end, and he threw it down, and he said, here, donkey, uh, uh, just lay catch on your belly, and I'll pull you up. Well, when the donkey felt that hook starting to dig into him, he went, hey, or, hey, or. He didn't like that at all, and the farmer thought, oh, oh no, my poor donkey, I'm hurting him, oh no, I can't do that, oh, donkey, what am I going to do? And he thought, and he thought, and he said, I know, I know, it's obvious, I'll go and get a ladder. And so off he went again. A few minutes later he came back, oh, puffing and panting as he's carrying this great long ladder, and, uh, and, and he got it to the edge of the well shaft and he was lowering it down and he said, here donkey, here donkey, you can climb up in a moment. And the donkey just looked up at him and went, eeeor, as if to say, have you ever seen a donkey climb a ladder? Oh, oh, oh no, oh, what am I going to do? Um, I, I know, I, I could try, I, I, I'll climb down the ladder and then I'll carry you up. And he was just about to swing his leg over the side of the well and down, and he thought to himself, I, I, I don't think I can lift my donkey up, and he certainly won't be able to climb up the ladder with him. Oh, no. Well... He scratched his head and he tugged on his beard and he could not think of a way to rescue his donkey. And in the end, he said, Here, donkey, I'm really sorry, but I can't think of a way to save you, so I, I think you're going to be stuck down there and I know you'll die. And, and well, I, I, I want to put you out of your misery quite quickly, so what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll, I'll get some, I'll get a spade and, and, and I'll bury you. In fact, I'll get some of my friends to come and help me. And so off he went again. And maybe half an hour later, 
He came up with four friends, each of them carrying a spade. And he explained what was going to happen. And he said, "Now we're, we're, we're going to shovel the soil down in there and, 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 and we'll, we'll bury that donkey and he'll suffocate. Now, he'll make quite a lot of noise to start off with, but you rest assured, after about ten minutes, it will stop. And, and we'll keep going and, 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 and then it'll be done. Well, they picked up their shovels. And they started putting that soil down the well shaft. You should have heard that poor donkey. Oh, oh it was heartbreaking. That donkey was praying and e oh, e oh, as if, what are you doing to me? But sure enough, after about 10 minutes, the noise stopped. And the farmer said, I'll keep going a bit longer, just a bit longer. And so they did. Until finally the farmer said, okay, let's give it a go. I'll have a look now, we'll stop and I'll say my goodbyes. And he peered down the well shaft and he said, goodbye donkey. And instead of seeing like soil and sticks, looking up at him from the well shaft was his donkey, not buried underneath the soil, but on top of it. And as if to say, what do you think you're doing? And just at that moment, one of his other friends actually put another shovel full of soil down and it landed on the donkey's back. And the donkey shook itself and that soil fell off. And then the donkey trod on it, patting it down, giving himself something to stand on. And then the farmer realised, I said, I'll get my donkey out. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I can't, come on everybody, keep shoveling. And so they did. They carried on shoveling soil down into their well shaft. And that donkey, the soil landed on his back. He shook, he stamped, and he got higher and higher and higher up the well shaft until finally he was able to just walk out. It's right as rain. Ha! So now you know what to do if you ever come across a donkey stuck down a well. But also, if you ever feel that you're in a bit of a hole and well, you feel that people are shoveling the dirt on you. Just give yourself a shake and use that dirt and climb up out of the hole and show the world you can do it.